In this video, I want to talk about why not every person has to run, why not everybody has to run. So stay tuned if you're curious what I think about that. My name is Chi and you're welcome to The Body Conditioner. Here we work in, not out. Most of you watching this suffer from imbalances in the body. Perhaps you have knock knees or you have bow legs or you have challenges with your knees, meniscus, um, ACL, PCL, so many different things that can occur. It can also be that you have challenges in your hips or in your ankles. Whatever it is, um, the body is one and as we have perhaps muscle imbalances or bone structures that are imbalanced or perhaps you've had an injury, an accident, mm -hmm. all that contributes to misalignments in the body. Perhaps even your nervous system is not at rest you are stressed, you're tight, all that pulls the muscles together. So that can create a hot spot for imbalance and perhaps inflammation in the body. Now, when you run, you put three times your body weight as load onto your knees, three times. So it doesn't matter what BMI you have, it's still three times your body weight. Imagine the load on the knees. So if your knees, for example, you can also take your ankles, but really one contributes to the next. If your knees, for example, are not properly aligned, can you see that it will create a hotspot floor for injury and inflammation in your knees? And the challenge is, at the, as the knee suffers, the other joints kind of have to compensate and in the long run they carry more load and then it's a vicious, it becomes a vicious circle. So I was an avid runner in the past. I would run like almost every single day, sometimes twice a day, just crazy. I can't say that I was fitter then than I am today. And I do not want to market the yoga practice or a mindful practice, but it's very important for us that we need to understand our bodies before we do exercises like running um, where you're constantly in motion. It's very, very challenging for the body to perform so many motions at the same time. And I love functional exercises or a functional approach to working in functional because you can work on those areas of the body that need more attention right now to then basically create a new biodynamics. I think it's very important to take a break from time to time to stop running or doing the gym routine that you are used to if you have imbalances in the body because as you start a more functional approach you'll be able to perhaps strengthen areas in the body that need more attention and lengthen others that need more lengthening and this way you'll be able to get a new functional movement pattern and I think that is much more important than just doing the actual exercise and as we retrain the body you also retrain your mind and funny enough as we do exercises that are more mindful and exercises that help us stay embodied in the body inhabiting the body the body receives much more benefits so why i think um, not everyone needs to run because not everyone has the natural makeup to run some of us need to take a break from running or actually start with a, a more functional approach for a while before we can run or even i would say you have um, a functional routine that you do like three or four times a week and then you just run once or twice and that really helps your body create a healthy pattern for whatever workout routine that you want to have. If you want to stay up to date with my latest content, please come on over to thebodyconditioner.com and drop your email address. If you like my content, please give me the thumbs up 
also subscribe to the channel right here click that tiny little bell to get notified anytime i have a new video for you and please share this video with every person you feel may benefit from it